Vienna is the city of dreams, music, and history. What hidden gems must you visit in Vienna? Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to my channel, everyone! I'm the Global Chair, and I'll be discussing hidden gems to visit in Vienna. Before we begin, subscribe, like the video, and enjoy the show! You may or may not know about these hidden gems in the elegant city of Vienna. Our first location is Hofburg Palace. It is one of Vienna's palace complexes dating back up to the 13th century and served as an imperial winter residence for the rulers of Austria until the end of of World War I. Today, this magnificent palace also happens to be used as the official seat of the Austrian head of state. Explore the history and architectural styles ranging from Gothic to Renaissance to Classicism. Break your visit down to the Hofburg Palace by attending different sites within the palace such as the imperial apartments of the rulers to learn about their lifestyles, example being Franz Josef. We're seeing where the monarchy sleep, eat, get dressed, go to the bathroom. Why? I, I don't know. The CC Museum portrays the authentic life of the Austro-Hungarian monarch Empress Elizabeth, known as CC. This museum also shows a variety of crystal, porcelain, and silver tableware used by the monarchs. It's interesting how people showcase their beloved monarch's cutlery and handkerchiefs after their death. Take a carriage ride for 40 minutes alongside the palace to glimpse at the other attractions like the Imperial Chapel, the Natural History Museum, and the Spanish Riding School. For 95 euros, a coachman will escort you on a scenic carriage ride. Our next location is St. Stephen's Cathedral. This cathedral is well known for its majestic towers, which have dominated Vienna's skyline for centuries. Duke Rudolf IV initiated the current Romanesque and Gothic form of this cathedral. This beautiful historical landmark was burned in the course of the Battle of Vienna in April 1945. Next to the North Tower elevator is the entrance to the catacombs underneath the cathedral. This underground burial place contains Duke Rudolf and other members of Habsburg family. The nobility had a desire to be in multiple places at once, therefore parts of their body were separated in the catacombs and other burial grounds. It also showed a grave for the Pope as well as the mass grave for the citizens. The catacombs also served as a bomb shelter but not a very good bomb shelter. I've been spotted by the tour guide and unfortunately was not able to film the catacomb tour, but I have this. The tickets in cash after the tour. Okay. If you got a ticket already, you show me after. Sorry, no pictures and no Our next hidden gems would be in the form of cafes. Café de Mel is an exquisite café that has palace-like decor. They are well known for their coffee and handmade desserts. My personal and all-time favorite was the apple strudel, although I tend to like apple-related desserts anyways. Café de Mel also happens to have their own shop to purchase desserts and other goods. Café Central is a traditional Viennese café located at Erengas. They have very exquisite Viennese desserts, coffee, and breakfast items. Like Café de Mel, this café also has palace-like decor, and even includes portraits of the Duke and the Duchess. That is all for today. If you enjoyed this video on Vienna, feel free to leave a like, subscribe to join the family, and comment what you think of Vienna. I will see you all in the next video. Thank you for watching, and that's all.